Hello everyone, this is the CRT Productions. Um, okay, so you remember a while back I did a video on that low power TV station, Channel 50, out of Macon, Georgia. Um, I was getting a really weak signal, as you can tell from the video. Um, that was because I was just using a regular little indoor antenna without a booster or anything because uh, I hadn't found this. I just kind of found this in our house. It wasn't being used. It was actually behind our TV that we have hooked up to the satellite TV. The box to convert to this in there. This TV here is just kind of sitting back here behind it which we have it plugged up to direct TV so I've got that and I plugged into the old Magnavox TV here we have a cable running up through the floor it goes if you can see that it goes up here to the booster channel master and then of course this cable just runs back there to the TV and that's unfortunately the only input this TV has. I didn't show the back of this TV in the original video but you can see the you might can see that sticker there. I might do a better video on this TV later. But I've got that hooked up. I'll show you real quick the outdoor antenna. Right there. It's pointed directly towards where that station would be. So I'll turn the TV back around here, turn it on. Let you hear the sound a little better than it makes. Let's take it back here and have a listen. It has a nice degaussing sound. So I'll give it takes about 10-15 seconds to fully come on, which isn't bad. Now I'm not gonna not gonna fall over dead and waiting for that for channel 50 and there you go automotive industries for over 30 years our legal team channel 50 analog low power analog out of Macon Georgia this WPGA low power this should be this TV. As you can see, it's a pretty good signal. It's a low-power TV station that I'm really too far away from to get. But I'm using this big outdoor antenna. I actually haven't been getting it lately. Um, it has just been a silent signal, no sound or video, just a, a blank black screen. But just for another little bit of proof, this cable right here, this is from antenna, this cable goes right here, down to the floor. So many people do not take advantage of the benefits offered to them. That's the antenna. It goes directly to this, not through a, not through this converter box. I have this box here, but it's actually not hooked up to anything. This is the cable. It's the only cable I have plugged into it. I've been kind of passing them back and forth, looking at this station. Since this one claims to have analog pass through, but it doesn't, it doesn't seem to. And you see that's plugged into the TV this cable. So that is the low power analog station. I mean this TV. This TV if you don't know broadcast classic 
movies and other TV shows from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. It's similar to me TV, except it's more of movies, not and not um, TV shows. It's 30-minute TV shows. So there you have it. There's only one more low power, or two more low power stations in Georgia that I might would have a chance at picking up. That would be channel 19. I don't really have the antenna set up to pick that up. That would be in the opposite direction of this one. And there's one in Atlanta, channel 6, which we don't really get. So, there you go. There's no way to just do a channel scan with this TV. You know, it has the on-screen display, but it doesn't really have that. The menu here, color. I guess while I have it on, let's go back to channel 50, turn the volume down. And we can, you can see the... Uh, you see the CRT tube is really good, really strong. I'll just mute the volume. Here, color. You see, it's really saturated. Red is really strong on this TV. Color tint, and it doesn't make sharpness doesn't really do much. Find brightness picture, which is basically just a combination of brightness and contrast. It seems. This really does better if I'm using a converter box and have a stable picture. Brightness, you can see it gets nice and bright. I just leave all these in the middle, roughly. And color, there we go. So there you go. I think I better stop. It comes in really good for a low power station, so far away. It's just like 25, 30 miles away, but it's a low power station. I think it's pretty cool. I hope they keep on broadcasting this because you know, these stations are supposed to go are supposed to go off the air after September 1st, 2015, but it seems like they're having some trouble doing that, um, enforcing that deadline. So I hope we can keep on going after that. Why didn't you tell me? You had your chance. Plus, you know, this TV is good when there's nothing else on. I like Me TV a little better. They have a little more, a little more popular shows on it. These are movies. It's good. It's better than just like a broadcasting Judge Judy and stuff like that. So there you go. This TV, WPGA Will Power, still broadcasting. I was thinking they had stopped there for a while. Because it was just broadcasting a silent signal. You could get it, it would be a black screen, though. No sound. So, there you go. Thanks for watching.